Hello, passionate health advocates. Today, we're set to explore the four main causes of intermittent fasting failure through a lens of medical expertise. Well, number one, they never start intermittent fasting brings up a mental problem because you're depriving someone of food and to people food is survival. So you're taking away their ability to survive. But what you have to realize is you're not really doing that. You're just switching the food fuel for the fat fuel. You're finally for once living on your own fat. You're living off of the food that you ate months ago, maybe years ago, that turned into fat. You're finally using it as fuel. So once you realize that, maybe you'll feel a little bit better about that because you're not really depriving yourself, you're just burning up stored reserves and people have a lot to burn. So you can drink coffee that won't break your fast, you can do tea that won't break your fast. The key is making sure that when you eat, the, the meal is very healthy. It's big, you don't wanna cut calories. Yes, you may cut calories just from the nature of eating less frequent, but ideally you wanna eat a nutrient dense meal. We call it healthy keto. Okay, number two, you're not losing weight. Now the vast majority of people that start in a menopause start losing weight and a lot of weight. Some people might lose for a while and then they plateau. Other people may not lose initially for this one simple reason and it's based on a principle that I have in my book which is this. You get healthy to lose weight, not lose weight to get healthy. Sounds really simple, but it's very powerful. And what do I mean by getting healthy? I mean repair damaged organs. Your body, especially if you're menopausal, if you have atrophy, will focus on repair before just fat burning. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna look at other positive health factors. Is your energy going up? Is your cravings going away? Are you less hungry? Do you have better cognitive function? That means it's working. If you want to improve the weight loss, you cut your carbs when you eat, you do longer fasting, and you add exercise and more sleep too. Sleep. Number three, you feel worse when you do intermittent fasting. How could that be? Now, you're going through a transition phase. It takes two to three to four, up to five days to transition over because you're building new machinery, new enzymes, and in the process, it's the vitamin and nutrient like mineral deficiencies that create these side effects. So all you have to do, increase your potassium as electrolyte, increase your sodium as sea salt, and be one in the form of nutritional yeast, and you won't have hardly any side effects. That should handle most of them, but I understand if you feel worse, you may want to stop. It just means you're not doing it correctly. All right, number four, this is a biggie. Other people, your so-called friends and family members, are discouraging you. They're telling you, oh my gosh, you're starving your body. You need to be eating every three hours. You need to eat a breakfast. That is absolutely not true. We don't need to eat that frequently. If we eat that frequently, we never tap into our fat reserves. How are you gonna burn fat if you're eating so frequently? Eating very frequently gets you into a massive trouble with insulin, okay? And this is why we have a massive problem with diabetes and pre-diabetes. So you're not starving your body, you're just shifting what fuel you are running off of, your fat. If you wanna burn fat, fasting is the best way to do it. And also if we look at the when versus the what, like what's more important, when you eat or what you eat. Believe it or not, when you eat is a little bit more important than what you eat. I don't want that to be the reason you eat what you want. But the point is that intermittent fasting is slightly more important than what you eat. Because if you actually do a keto plan and eat frequently, you will still trigger insulin just by the nature of eating in general and frequent eating. So that's why intermittent fasting with healthy keto goes together. Navigating the path of intermittent fasting is no small feat, necessitating ironclad discipline. The rewards, however, are undeniable. Significant weight loss, robust health, a shield against cancer, and optimized bodily functions. The recipe for victory is a blend of unwavering discipline and an indomitable belief in one's capabilities. Take heart, for I stand with you, ready to offer unwavering support. Bye, and see you again in the next video on the topic of intermittent fasting.